decided to really dig into dynasty mode this year, we didn't just want to put in a few fixes and do a few things that people have asked. We actually wanted to uh, start it from scratch. Uh, the good thing is Beer Pro last year was so successful. Um, so many people played our Beer Pro last year that we wanted uh, our GMO to, to um, be very similar in the way it's presented. So as we go in here again, you can do a fantasy draft to start off. And um, the, you start at the entry draft. So it's a big moment in GM's career or GM season. You can start just before the um, draft. Or you can start at the season if you want to. But uh, I like starting here so I can start my team the way I want it. So the first thing you're going to see in our new be a, be a GM mode is uh, the GM tracker. And the GM tracker, if you've played our be, our be a pro mode, you know that the performance tracker tracked everything you did as a hockey player. Um, and that's where it was like an RPG. Everything you did, earn your points. Uh, the better you did, the more attributes you'd earn. GM, same thing. Again, it has that RPG feel to it where um, you're going to want to complete tasks, do really well, and you'll be rewarded for that, as I'll show you in a little bit. And again, you're trying to become a legend GM, just like you're trying to become a legend hockey player, and you'll get plaques and awards as you move up the ladder. So here's my owner saying, hey, we expect a lot out of you this year. First thing you're going to do is there's a prospects game. So the cool thing about a pro the prospect game, I'm not going to play it, um, but the cool thing about it is you can go in and play with the 40 top guys. Um, one on there, are, you have the World Junior Team and the uh, World Prospect Team, or something like that. So you play with them and you see how they do, and then you can draft based on that game. So I'm gonna sim up. My assistant coach uh, watched the prospect game because I didn't play it. He's recommending a few guys for the draft. Um, next thing you're gonna see, we have a new phone system. Um, that, you know, again, GMs are always on the phone and will take us to the trading block, which is a feature that our fans have wanted for a long time, too. It's the first time we've had it. And with the trading block, I can put up uh, players from my team um, that other GMs will now know um, are eligible and that I'm willing to give up. So I could put Crosby up. I probably shouldn't, but um, my owner will probably be very upset with me. But I can put him up uh, if I'd like. And I can also look at other teams, and I could look at their trade blocks um, and see what they're willing to give up. And um, I could really see if they're willing to give up veterans, young guys, and so forth. Now, I'm just going to go to the draft real quick. Now, first thing you're going to see here is you can trade at the draft. And this is important for us because we've never had this before, that each round you could make trades or get trade offers. And you see I have two phones here. Um, I'll show you how that, how that works in a little bit, but I can answer this. Columbus, they have the 16th pick. Um, you know, if the Islanders called me and they have the first pick, I might want to make a deal and try to get that first pick. And here, they're offering Boucher. Oh, they want these guys? Yeah, I'm not going to do that probably. No, not going to do that. Um, and then I'm getting another call from Vancouver, same thing. So our trade AI, trade AI has been totally revamped, totally redone from scratch. So I can bring up the phone at any time, two different things here. I'll go to the GM tracker. So all my tasks that I'm doing, I'm earning experience points. Um, if I draft a guy really high, if I get the first overall pick, all those things are going towards uh, my experience points. I spend my experience points on my staff. So what I can do is, let's say my assistant coach, if I draft a guy in the first round, having a great assistant coach is gonna see him rise to a superstar way quicker. Um, not all the time, but a much better chance than if it, I have a low assistant coach. Okay, uh, reputations. Here's where I was talking about we penalize you if you try to cheat. So I've played franchise modes my whole life and I can't tell you how many times I'd sign five free agents and then trade them all the next day to get good players on my team. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've traded for really young prospects that are already on, in other teams, organizations, and I developed them and I didn't have to draft them. All these ways to cheat. Well, if you do those things, we track you with your GM reputation. If you trade away a free agent you just signed, we will hit your GM rep. As your GM rep goes down, 
you get less phones to deal with at the draft, at trade deadline, so you'll actually have less people who want to deal with you. So there's always something going on. For us, it's about being authentic to being a real GM.